Hi Taurus, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina and today we're going to get you some messages. Let's see what's going on in your energy and what your angels and guides want you to know. All right, before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. All right, Taurus. Let's pull you some cards, see what's going on. Got Five of Swords, Five of Cups, Strength, oh, Taurus, what are you going through? Nine of Wands and Three of Wands. All right, Taurus, what are you going through here? Who are you fighting with? Who's got you all sad and upset? Listen. This is temporary. Things are going to get better. All right. I've been here. I understand what you're going through, but um, things are getting better. You just got to try something a little different. I think you got to see, uh, you got to change something up. I'm not sure what, but that's what I'm feeling. Like you got to kind of do something a little bit different and realize that sometimes it's better to cut our losses and walk away. All right. If you are disappointed, if you are grieving, or if you have feel some sadness or some depression, I want you to turn around. I want you to turn around and look in a different direction. Because on this card, you see this person looking at the three cups that are spilled, right? They're on the ground, they're empty. But if that person were to turn around, they would see that there's two cups upright, two cups still full. They have something to look forward to, or they still have something to work with. All they have to do is pick up those two cups and continue on their path. So I want you to turn around, look in a new direction, because you have blessings in your life. You don't have to look down at the spilled cups anymore. That's over with. That's the past, even if it just happened. It's the past. Can't change it. It happened. Turn around, look at a new direction, gather that strength, feel that power, feel that control that you have, feel that willpower, gather that because you have it within you. Turn around, try something different. I don't know what, but try something a little bit different. Change the energy. Right? Nine of Wands tells me that you have the endurance to keep going. So don't give up. Keep going. Because your ships will come in. You just don't see them yet. They're not there. They're not there yet. But they're on their way to you. Opportunity's coming. A success is coming for you. So, chin up. I know, easy for me to say. Claw, be careful. Do not take risks. All right, at this time, they want you to play it safe. Sometimes they'll say, take some risks. Sometimes they'll say, it's time to go for it. Right now, they're saying, mm -mm, don't play games. Mm -mm. Be smart. Now's not the time to take a risk. Don't risk it. Especially if you're not in the right frame of mind. Play it safe right now. Goldfish. Increase in material or spiritual wealth. Growth. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you're learning something from this. This is a lesson that you chose to learn. Okay. You wouldn't be learning it if you didn't choose it. So is it difficult? Sure, probably is. But lessons aren't always easy. Sometimes they're really, really hard. Sometimes we get easy ones. But most of the time they're difficult. But what does that do? That increases our spiritual growth. We learn, we grow. So look at it that way. See it from that perspective that you are becoming a much stronger person. You are becoming a more enlightened person. 
which is only going to make life a little bit easier in the long run. Okay. We have backstabbing, heartbreak, pain, separation, loss, deception, lies, shocking attack. All right. Somebody backstab you? Could be with this, with these cards. Absolutely could be. You feel back backstabbed. You feel betrayed. Karma's real. Right? So... And it's not your job to inflict karma, right? It's just your job to heal yourself. To do something a little different. To pick yourself back up. You know, turn around. You have blessings in your life. You heal you. Let karma take care of your person. Because I guarantee you, when somebody backstabs somebody else, they don't come out of it unscathed. You know, do they come out of it a little bit better than the person they backstab? Pro yeah, for the most part. But they, it affects them. Trust me. It affects them too. So, uh, like I said, karma is real. Let, let the universe handle it. You worry about you. And you know what the best revenge is? <laughs> the best revenge as living a good life, being happy. That's the best revenge. So be happy. Master Buddha, increase awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice. So Master Buddha is coming in for you to say that you are going to have some increased knowledge increased inner wisdom trust your inner voice trust what you get because you have a connection with source and that connection with source is actually getting stronger so you know what to do it doesn't mean you you, you want to do it or you're capable of doing it but you kind of know what you should do you kind of know you need to be the better person to take the high road Sometimes we don't want to do that. Sometimes it's more fun to, to take the low road. Been there, done that. But there is a cost. There's always a price. Sometimes the price isn't worth it. Because sometimes we don't know what the price will be. And it comes back. So, I think you're learning from past mistakes. I think you are growing and I think you understand this concept now. And I think you know that karma will take care of itself. Twin flames, your passion ignites. <laughs> well, I told you that you're going to, things are going to turn around for you, right? Um, I don't know if I would want them to turn around to a twin flame, <laughs> but it looks like there's a twin flame in your energy. So either you're going to meet a twin flame or a twin flames coming back. A twin flame is us in a different body. It's our soul split in two. So this is somebody that's going to reflect you, mirror you. The things you like about them are the things they're going to like about you. Or the things that you like about yourself, right? The things that you don't like about them are things you don't like about y yourself. They might, you know, um, project in a different way, but... Believe me. Twin flames are hard. They could be extremely passionate and, and amazing. Truly amazing relationships. But they could be difficult. Again, it's hard to face things about ourselves that we don't like. Especially on a daily basis. Always constantly a reminder, a constant reminder of things that we need to heal or things we need to change. It's difficult. Because there are times when we don't like ourselves, right? We don't like ourselves for handling things the way that we've handled things. So to be reminding, reminded that of every, every day, ooh, it's not easy. But you definitely have twin flame energy here. So it could be somebody you pushed away that's coming back around or somebody you ran from. <laughs> um... 
or somebody who you chased and who's finally stopped running. I don't know, but good luck. I wonder what will happen next. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. What's going to happen next for you, Taurus? You have free will. It could be anything. Get ready to adventure. You're on the precipice of change. Pause before action, though. Listen to that intuition of yours. <laughs> Nothing will come of this situation. What situation? The person who backstabbed you? Could that mean like uh, they can't hurt you anymore? Nothing's going to come of it. They can't hurt you. They did their damage already. Or I don't know. Could it have something to do with the twin flame? Possibly. You take it for how it resonates. Not sure. Eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. Well, always. That's the duh. But in this particular instance. Oh, look. The eagle has a claw. And then you have the claw. So don't take risks. Because uh, spirit's going to take care of it. Spirit's got your back. They're going to handle it. So don't you take the risk. All right. Let spirit handle it. There you go. Makes sense. I love things when they tie up nicely. When the dots connect. All right, your Akashic Record card is one of scrolls. You're on track. So that's basically saying that you are on the right train. You are going in the right direction. You don't have to change tracks. Um, you know. I mean, I, I, told, I gave you the advice to change something, but that doesn't mean you have to change your goals. It just means you have to do something a little differently, right? So, I mean, that could be as simple as waking up a half an hour earlier. That would be different than your normal routine, right? You have to change something, but keep going on the track that you're on. You're going to be successful. Let me pull you some charms. Okay, you have smiles. Some happiness is coming in for you. Something's going to put a big smile on your face. Maybe it's that is that twin flame. That could do it. <laughs> it could do it, but it can also make you cry the next day. Um, but they want you to see the bigger picture, right? They don't want you to just focus on what's in front of you. They want you to focus on the bigger picture. So again, let karma handle itself. Make a wish because it's going to come true. But the world is at your feet right now. So it looks like you, I mean, and that's in the shape of a heart. So that means that there's love here. So you're going to love what you do or you're getting a new love and like it's a new, a new chapter in your life, right? The world right now is open to you. All right. So what are you going to do with your life? You're going to choose to be happy? I hope so. Your angels are here loving you and supporting you. And we see that with the eagle. You have the keys to success. And you do have soulmate energy here. Could be that twin flame. But something's going to become beautiful. Something's going to blossom. Something's going to bloom. Finally, you have the anchor. I just think that just means that, Taurus, you're okay. You're anchored. You're not drifting along. You are fine. You know, you might have had a setback. You might have, you know, have some conflict in your life you have to deal with. Or something of a loss that you are grieving. But you're pretty much stable. And things will work itself out. Alright, Taurus, that is what I have for you. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. All those things help. And I appreciate you. Till next time. Love and light.